Hello everybody, my name is Lisa. Welcome back to the House of Jane. Today I am showcasing a brand of tea that I showcased a while back called Lifea Tea. Back in that video, which I'll leave a link right above, I showcased a delicious black tea that I was just totally blown away with. I think that was back in January and it came with a little teacup. I would show you that teacup, but unfortunately I am in the middle of a move and I packed it away so I can't show you it. But I partnering with them again to showcase their limited edition floral fragrance tea. You're gonna get three teas in this selection. You're gonna get a jasmine green tea, an orchid oolong tea, and a chrysanthemum tea. I'm gonna do a brew with the orchid tea, the orchid tea, and do a June plan with me in my planner. But before I do that, I just wanted to show you each tea. It comes in its own little vessel. Isn't that adorable? These um, little containers you could absolutely reuse with dry tea after you finish these or just repurpose in any way you feel fit. So this is the jasmine tea. It is a lovely green tea and it's extremely aromatic. You're gonna get an all natural tea just like this. And believe it or not, you don't brew these teas very long. You only need to brew them for like one minute, which I didn't realize that. I looked at their website where they give brewing instructions and it was just for one minute that you brew it. And then this is the orchid tea, the oolon, and I'm gonna make this momentarily. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the beautiful tea leaves. Now, if you know anything about tea, Tea is not a cheap commodity, but the prices at uh, Lifea Teas are really, really good. And I do have a 10% off code with Lisa Jane. That will give you 10% off your entire order. And I will put that code and the website down below in the description box. So that's the oolong. And then the last tea in this set is the chrysanthemum. Believe it or not, you're gonna get two chrysanthemum flowers. I wanna show you. Isn't that so cool? You're gonna get two flowers to brew you two pots of tea, two small pots of tea. So, and the flower, when you brew it, especially if you have it in a clear glass, you're gonna see that flower open up and it is very, very, very pretty. So that is the Floral Fragrance Collection. Comes in a really nice reusable box, a lid, duh. And this box is also reusable as well. And if you're interested, you can also scan this code and it'll take you right to the website where you can do more shopping and it also gives steeping instructions. So let's go ahead and brew a cup of this gorgeous tea and do a June plan with me and I will see you momentarily. It's Lisa welcome back to my channel so I shot a whole video and unfortunately most of it got deleted so I am doing a quick opener for you this is my planet video for the month of June 2022 in my agenda 52 personal planner I 
will show you everything that I did that I deleted and then you'll see some of the process video so basically this is the month of June and what I caught out was where I did my habit tracker I like to track habits so I created this journal page tracking the habits of Spanish and exercise and I think I <laughs> misspelled the word exercise but uh, that happened too and then I decorated my notes page I used these little paper cutouts that I purchased on Amazon quite some time ago this is the pack of these paper cutouts and I used them throughout my journal for the month of June and I just colored it in. These were the supplies that I showed you before I deleted that part of the video. I packed away most of my supplies and these are just some stuff that I found around the house. I'm in the middle of a move and yes, I packed away most of my journaling supplies. So this is what I had laying around. Decorated this page. I think I might have gotten this in the video. And I cut this whole page out where I decorated the, the monthly spread. I just added some washi tape, some stickers, one of those cute little characters, and I filled in the uh, months for the month of June. Not the months, the days for the month of June. Again, just using some basic supplies. And then I went over to the uh, daily pages and I decorated them as such. Very simple decorations. I had explained earlier in my video before I deleted it that I have no special art talent. I am just an average uh, creator. I use supplies that I've either purchased or were gifted to me and I just like to create and I like to make spreads to help me stay organized throughout the month. So that is it. I think I um, left off in the video over here. I'm not sure, but if the video is appropriate of what I did manage to salvage, I will include it after here. If not, I will just end my monthly planner video as such. I hope you enjoyed this abbreviated monthly. Again, you know, I deleted my video and things like that happen. I also decorated this page as well with just some stickers and some freehand. This is the Agenda 52, which I purchased at Hobby Lobby. I try to do monthly plan it with me videos using basic supplies. And if you found this video useful, uh, please give me a thumbs up. It's kind of disappointing that I deleted everything, but I did want to pop on and show you something. Again, thank you to Lifea Tees for uh, sending me that trio of teas if you're interested. Lisa Jane will give you 10% off those teas. I will leave the link below to Lifea Teas. And everybody have a great day and I will see you all soon. Bye bye. So I had to stop the video because um, I had to delete some stuff because if I fill up my video card too much, it stops recording. So I'm not really sure where I left off, but um, I'm still decorating the uh, monthly spread. And I got this little girl that I put in here and I'm just coloring her in with the few supplies I have. And I put in some flowers and I'm going to another page. And I think I'd like to put in another one of these people. Maybe I'll just put her right here. And like I said in the last clip, like I said, I don't know where the clip stopped. <laughs> it 
cap to this went behind my son's desk. <sighs> if you all don't know it, I am so looking forward to getting out of this, my son's bedroom, moving, moving, moving. I know I sound like a broken record, but it couldn't happen soon enough. I am ready to get settled in a new state, so I'm moving to Florida. And I'll be in Southern Florida, and I'm sure I will give a little tour of my new city that I'm in. I'm really looking forward to it. It's um, being in one place for so long. You know, it was great to raise my children here, but I'm itching for new experiences. And that was one thing, like when I was in the military, we move a lot, you know, normally every three years sometimes. So I, I kind of got used to that. And now, you know, since being out of the military, obviously I don't move that much. I've been out for oh, over 11 years. So that's that page. I might as well continue on with this lovely lady theme. Maybe I will put a little girl here. Where do I want to put her? Kind of like pointing at something. Saturday, Sunday, no. See, try not to overthink things too much. That's what I've learned in video making. Make a decision, make a commitment, stick to it. Otherwise, you can be pontificating and nobody really wants to see that and hear it. You know, it's just like, all right, Lisa, we get the point, move on. <laughs> so I try to um, make a placement and, and move on. And, um, We'll also give her a little green dress. The um, stickers here, well not stickers, these little cutouts of these people. The paper is actually like, it's really good paper. First of all, it's not flimsy and it has like grooves in it. I don't know if you can see it. So it's a lot of fun to draw on top of it. I like how the everything sticks to it. Let's see if we can find some more ephemera to put on this page, something that will fit. Put that over here. Where do we want to put it? Where do we want to put it? Almost like she's picking it, but then I would cut out this. I like to write. So I will just put it up top here. Keep it simple. Next to June. And then the last page is the end of June. And hopefully my moving truck will be here at the end of June, which I doubt it. But a girl can dream, right? <laughs> a girl can dream. Okay, we'll do some flowers, some more flowers, and we'll call it a day. Let's do this set of flowers. And I'll stick it right. Here we go. Gonna cover up June a little bit, but I can't help that. Just wanna do quick washi on the bottom of each page. So I'm almost done with my planner spread for the month of June. I just wanna go ahead and 
add a sticker to this looking ahead page. It looks a little too naked to me, so I'm gonna add just a little flower there. And maybe a bit more washy because hey, washy goes a, a long way. <laughs> a long way to brighten up a page and it'll be consistent with all the other pages I did here in the book. So, so yeah, let's just do a quick little deco of that and put a little bit up top right here. And I think I am happy with that page. Yeah, I mean, two seconds. You could definitely um, make anything prettier. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not even going to worry about those people. So let's do a quick little recap. We'll put everything back in the book. And I just want to let you know that it doesn't require a lot of talent or time to just have some fun in your journal. So just a quick recap. This is for the month of June. It says, stay true. I did my habit tracker. Just going to track two exercises. Did my notes page. I did my looking ahead page for the month. My calendar page. I just decorated it with some washi and some stickers and these little cutouts. And then my monthlies. Now I'm not, I haven't filled in obviously any of my appointments, but think. I do know a couple of appointments, but I will fill that in later. And that is it for June. So hopefully I've inspired you to, you know, do some planning yourself. And um, I'd love to know if you plan or if you found this video to be helpful, let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts. And of course, I'd love to subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Take care guys, have a great rest of your day and may June be very happy for everybody. Bye bye.